annual Seatech show in Tokyo is Japan's largest consumer electronics gathering. Its name stands for Combined Exhibition of Advanced Technologies, and it's a platform for Japanese and Asian electronics manufacturers to show thousands of visitors their latest products, many of them with a Japanese flair. Here at Seatech in Tokyo, many technologies have an oriental flavor, such as this flying origami bird. Let's hear if it works. Weighing only 31 grams, this origami is equipped with sub-gigahertz wireless technology and piloted by remote control. During the presentation, the 70-centimeter long bird flew at a height of 6 meters. This very light, plane-shaped origami is equipped with minute semiconductors. Inside, we can find the CPU, a battery, and the motor. One of the stars of Seatech was a little robot called Robohan. Created by Sharp Corporation, it fuses smartphone and robotics technologies. He bows to say hello, recognizes emotions, and changes expression according to the content of conversations. Introduce yourself. My name is Robohan. I can send emails and I can take pictures and videos. What else can you do? I can then show the pictures. And of course, he can be used as a smartphone to make and receive calls. Hello? Hello? The Haptech Trigger technology by Alps Electric creates a real sense of touch in a virtual world. The user holds a control while looking at an image, such as a spray gun or scissors. Simultaneously, they have the impression they are using the instrument. The trigger can reproduce a range of textures and sensations, such as hardness and softness, or the ability to cut. This ping-pong robot by Omron Corporation uses sensors to gather data on the opponent's return shot, direction and strength. The robot instantly predicts the ball trajectory and where it will land. According to the developer, it is a symbol of convergence between humans and machines. Can you please explain the technology behind this robot? This robot is able to sense the ball in a 3D area, to foresee how the ball will move and then hit it with the middle of the racket. In other words, his capability of sensing the environment plus his capacity to adapt to it allows us to say that the robot thinks. If you're in a foreign country and don't understand the language, don't worry. These special glasses can provide an immediate translation for you. These wearable devices by Epson also provide other information, such as subtitles in movies or details about places of interest. The product has also been tested to aid the hearing impaired. Torque presented what they claim is the first smartphone with seawater corrosion resistance and sub-aquatic photo-taking ability. When submerged, it automatically switches to underwater mode. Smooth touch operation is possible whether the screen is wet or the user is wearing gloves. Developers say it is resistant to water drops, radiation, dust and mud. The presentation will start soon.